If you're a Hannah fan, we have both good news and bad news. The good news is that the third season of the Action Pack show is dropping at the end of this month, whereas the bad news is that the said season will be the final one of the show. So why is this series ending and what are some other Amazon Prime updates that you need to know? Keep watching this video for all that and more. What happened in the previous season of Hannah? Starting with the premise of the show, Hannah is about a girl of the same name who was created by an evil organization called Ultrax. Hannah is highly talented in assassinations, but in a complete twist, the show follows Hannah trying to break free from the organization that made her, and in that she's receiving help from a former enemy who works for the CIA. The two team up to try to bring the organization down. Hannah is played by actress Esme Creed Miles, whereas the CIA agent Marissa Wiegler is played by Muriel Enos. And now for a recap of the second season for those of you who've already seen the series. After the first season ended on a tragic note, season two picked up the story exactly where it was left off. Claire and Hannah find themselves in the forest and Hannah now navigates the place for the two of them, as she's more aware of the world outside of Ultrax than Clara. It's apparent that Clara's drive to defy the sinister Ultrax has more to do with exploring her origins and her true identity, but Hannah's purpose is different. She's doing it purely for the sake of revenge and Marissa has decided to help her with that. We see Marissa feel guilty for what she did to Hannah and get involved in her scheme to eliminate Ultrax. During all this, we also see Clara fall into one of Ultrax's many traps, and she's held captive once again at Ultrax's facility known as the Meadows. So when Hannah breaks into the Meadows in order to save Clara, she discovers something that confuses her. The facility doesn't seem as repressive as it used to be, and the girls living there have names names, families, friends, and entire backgrounds. This doesn't sit well with Hannah, but the more time she spends there, the entire place starts growing on her, and she's met with the choice to accept the life she's living there or try to fulfill her father's purpose. A new season should follow this general premise. What to expect from the upcoming season? Coming to an end on an equally intense note as the first season, the second season only increased our expectations from the show. So how will they address the many things that need to be addressed in the third season. Which turn will the plot take now? We have a few theories. The filming of the upcoming season actually started in February this year and ended back in August. And since then, there have been several fan theories as to what exactly has been filmed and compiled and how it will differ from the plot of the previous season. The trailer also has many fans excited. In the trailer for the new season, we see Hannah discovering an all-new enemy in Gordon Evans. He's a tough military guy who's trying targeting younger and politically motivated individuals. His kill list is definitely one to keep the power in Ultrax's hand, but Hannah has other plans. She wants to burn the entire organization to the ground. Things get more and more intense as Hannah and those who are helping her are chased by Ultrax, and as Evans declares his regret over letting Hannah live for 20 years, it'll definitely be interesting where things go from here. But all of us are hoping Hannah will get the happy ending that she undoubtedly deserves. Let's see if this show actually does. Hannah's justice as well as the rest of Ultrax's survivors justice in this final season. Why is Hannah coming to an end? In its three season run, Hannah has managed to establish a loyal fan base and of course everyone's bummed out it won't be renewed after the third season. So what's the reason behind this disappointing decision on the producer's list? Let's go over all the details. Apparently it was always part of the plan to conclude the series after the third season. As you might know, Hannah is based on the movie movie of the same name directed by Joe Wright and released back in 2013. And even though the show contained a bigger plot and went over many more things than the movie, the plot is still overall the same. So it's likely the third season will end how the movie ended, only much more intricately. Hannah's showrunner David Farr said in an interview regarding the decision to conclude the show after the third season, that was always the intention to be honest, if you look back at when I was talking about the second season, I talked about how it needed the third episode. Act. I come from the theater originally, and I always have full act structure in my head to how a piece of drama plays out. And in this case, I felt that there was this very clear arc. So this was supposed
supposed to happen all along, folks, and there aren't any other issues involved, such as the show not being able to gain enough viewers or budget shortages. It definitely is sad that we'll no longer get new episodes after the upcoming, but you'll just have to accept it. What else to watch once you finish Hannah? A good show can leave quite the void in your heart once it comes to an end, but how can you fill that Hannah-shaped void when you've completed the whole series by the end of the year? We have a few answers. Here are some shows like Hannah that you can watch. Absentia. If you like suspense in your shows, Absentia will be your best friend. It's also available on the same site most people watch Hannah on, aka Amazon Prime Video. It's about a woman named Emily Barron who was abducted six years ago and everyone thought she was dead, except she didn't die. She makes a return with absolutely no memory of what happened to her, confusing the ones who knew her before. Emily also faces emotional challenges with her husband having moved on with a new wife and children. Even her own son has accepted the stepmom. The show is truly a wild ride as Emily deals with all this and of course tries to figure out what happened to her. You should definitely give it a watch. Homecoming. If you want a secret government agency type of feel in the show you watch after Hannah, you should give the fellow Amazon original Homecoming a watch. The first season follows the lives of those currently employed and previously employed by the organization that trains military men. But there's more than this little organization that's explored in depth throughout the show. The Widow. If you'd like a show like Hannah that's shorter, we're talking only one season long, consider watching The Widow once you've completed Hannah. The series begins with Georgia Wells believing that her husband is dead. She's chosen a life of isolation in a secluded Welsh valley. But one day, she sees someone that looks like her husband in a news report. Now Georgia is determined to find her husband and prove to the world that he's in fact alive. Watch the thing yourself because we won't give any more spoilers. You can watch it on Amazon Prime. Alias. Hannah also involves some serious spy work, and if that's what you like about the show the most, you should check Alias out. It's an old show, but shares many similarities with Hannah. Sydney Bristow discovers that the organization she works for is an anti-government one and vows to take it down. For this, she joins forces with the CIA and starts working as a double agent. Obvious that it's filled with a whole lot of mystery and suspense. The show is amazing because not only did it bring an amazing plot to all of us, but also proved to the world that women in lead roles and women as the master spies totally work. Wouldn't be wrong to say that many shows that came after Alias had similar premises were inspired by it, and that it's the OG. That's why you should consider watching it. What else is coming to Amazon Prime this month? Brace yourself because Mayor Pete is returning. The documentary about Pete Budding Geek's presidential campaign that made him the youngest person to ever campaign to become the president of the United States. It explores his win in Iowa and how things went from there. You should definitely check it out if you like Jesse Moss's other work. Who's the director behind this one too? You can also watch it if you're into politics. It'll be released this week, so keep an eye out for it. That was it for today's video. What are your predictions about Hannah's third season, and what are you planning to watch once it comes to an end? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.